Hello YouTube, today I'm at Spirit Ford taking a look at this 2021 Ford Mustang GT500. Um, absolutely beast of a vehicle. I think it has the 5.2 liter supercharged V8 and a 7 speed Tremec transmission. Uh, 760 horsepower at 625 pound, pound feet of torque, I believe. Uh, starting off up front, you got this massive grill front splitter with Shelby stamped into it. Your GT500 badge is going to be right there and your Cobra is going to be right there as well. Beautiful black with blue metallic stripes coming around to the wheel and tire setup. Looks like we have some Michelin Pilot Sports and the tire size is a 30530ZR20 massive Brembo brakes look at how big that rotor is another splitter right here along the side your Cobra logo is going to be right there paint matched mirror caps massive tires in the back these things are just huge the rear size is a 31530ZR20 as well Pretty big wing on the back, dual exhaust, third brake light's gonna be right there. This thing just looks so aggressive. I really do like the look of this vehicle. We have your gas fill port right there, blind spot monitoring, hood vents up top. This thing is so cool. Let's take a closer look at the interior. All right, so starting out over here on the left side, we have this really nice soft leather throughout. Your window controls are gonna be right here, as well as your mirror controls. You got three seat memory right next to your lock and unlock button. Rotary dial selector for the exterior lighting of the vehicle, as well as the dimmer switch for the gauge cluster. Coming to the gauge cluster, we got full digital gauge cluster tachometer on the left, speedometer on the right, and then the um, screen in the middle. I mean, the whole thing is a screen, but you know what I'm trying to say. Uh, I believe when you change the drive mode as well, this whole gauge layout changes. Really nice leather and Alcantara steering wheel, mild bolsters at 10 and two, big, huge metal paddle shifters. Right here, we have the volume control for the radio. Down here we have the steering feel and the suspension dampening system, as well as your cruise control buttons. Over here we have the control pad for the center LCD display, and then some more setting buttons and hands-free call buttons. HVAC controls are gonna be right here. You got an oil pressure PSI gauge up top, as well as an oil temperature gauge. Really nice touchscreen display, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. It does come with navigation as well. You can control a lot of things from here. Um, very, very cool touchscreen display, very responsive. Under that, you've got the physical buttons for the radio, dual zone climate control, heated and ventilated seats, push button start's gonna be right here, your hazard light button, traction control off. This is your exhaust note um, button. I'm not gonna turn the vehicle on, unfortunately, because I am in the showroom and people are trying to work and this thing is extremely loud. I believe there's three modes. Um, there's like the uh, quiet mode, which your neighbors will like. There's the mid mode, which your neighbors can probably hear. And then there's like the sport mode, which your neighbors will absolutely hate. Drive mode's gonna be right here. This will be like your track mode, launch control, drift, stuff like that if it has it. Storage mat right here with a USB port and a 12 volt outlet. Electronic parking brake. Rotary dial selector with your manual mode for using the paddle shifters. Two cup holders right here. Really nice storage compartment right here. It's nice that they included it. Access it by pulling on this tab. You have a USB and a 12 volt outlet with a cutout for cord management. They do have seat protectors on here right now, but very, very nice leather seats with extremely aggressive bolsters. They're definitely gonna keep you in your seat at speed. Right here we have your glove box. 
Got your GT badge right up here. Coming up top to the vanity, it is incandescent lit for passenger as well as driver. The driver vanity does have a three door universal garage remote. And then you are gonna have your incandescent dome map lights and then your standard auto dimming rear view mirror. Um, I would get into the back seats if I could, but I would virtually have no leg room at all. So um, definitely a good use for some storage. I would not put anybody back here, maybe uh, small kids, but I would definitely use this as a storage um, compartment. Overall, this vehicle is an absolute beast. I really wish that it wasn't on the showroom floor so I could turn it on for you guys and go over the exhaust note um, button as well as the driving button and then the or the steering wheel fuel button and the suspension damper button. But uh, maybe some other time, let's take a quick look at the window sticker. So here's a window sticker for this vehicle. Again, it's a 2021 Ford Mustang Shelby GT500. 5.2 supercharged v8 and a tremec 7 speed dual clutch transmission standard equipment's going to be right here for a base price of seventy thousand three hundred dollars your optional equipment is going to be right here unfortunately you do have a gas guzzler tax of twenty six hundred dollars fuel economy rating is right here this vehicle is rated at 12 miles per gallon city 18 miles per gallon highway for a combined fuel economy rating of 14 miles per gallon total msrp is going to be right here we are at eighty-nine thousand two hundred and forty dollars but there are unfortunately some other miscellaneous charges we've got a full ceramic coat paint protection for two thousand four hundred and ninety five dollars and then an adjusted market value of eighty five hundred dollars for a total vehicle price of $100,235. Unfortunately, with everything going on in the microchip shortage and the lack of vehicles availability and how rare this is, there is unfortunately a uh, market value adjustment. I wanna give Spirit Ford a huge thank you and shout out for allowing me to come to their lot and do a video walkthrough of this vehicle. If you're interested in this vehicle specifically, I will be posting all the contact info in the description below. Let Cheryl Yaros know that you saw the YouTube video and she'll be more than happy to go over all of the rebates, if any, that you qualify for. If you enjoyed the video, please consider giving me a like and share. Also subscribing to the channel and checking out all the affiliate links in the description below. Like always, thanks for watching and have a great day.